what's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back up another video for you guys today. So, you guys wanted me to check out this video. Um, top 10 stories we want to see in a scary stories to tell in the dark movie. Didn't they already make that though? Unless they make another one, I guess. I don't know. I didn't even see the more recent one that came out not too long ago. I watched one of the scenes with the big ass spiders and shit coming out of her fucking face. That was disgusting. But anyway, let's check out and see what Watch Mojo has in mind, shall we? In about a three, two, one. Horror and children's stories rarely go together, but Ew. somehow this works. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks I for the see top ten like stories we want to see in scary stories to tell in the dark. If I see anything for with a spider, list, I'm we're looking at scary stories that didn't make it into the 2019 film, but which we'd love to see similarly adapted. With a sequel to the film reportedly in development, these are the Alvin Schwartz tales of kid-friendly horror Gross. that we think would work best on the big screen. Beware, there are spoilers from this point on. No, this isn't real, okay? Stories can't hurt you. Really? Number 10, something was wrong. Sleepwalking is often played for laughs and comedies, but all things considered, it's a rather terrifying concept. <laughs> Now, imagine Step waking brothers. up confused in the middle of the street and having people run from you in terror. The reason everyone is cowering from our befuddled protagonist? He died a few days ago and he's a corpse. Considering a number of characters died in the first film, we think this could work quite well. What if the potential sequel opened with one of the deceased kids waking up and going about their business? The reveal that they're dead would make for a great callback. Number 9. The Bride Hide and Seek is a thrilling game that, though typically played by young children, is fun for all ages. Well, so there's duh. no way for me to win, right? Uh, well, you, you could I mean, stay hidden till dawn. <laughs> when one person simply refuses to be found, however, it can get downright creepy. In this particular scary story, a game of hide and seek that takes place on a wedding day ends with all of the wedding guests accounted for except the bride. Uh, where is she going? Don't. <laughs> Having searched the house top to bottom, everyone Look eventually gives up, there. accepting that she'd had second thoughts and ran away. Only years later is she finally found by a cleaning lady. She got locked in a trunk. Chilling, mm -hmm. right? Open the goddamn door! Yeah, weren't they about to kill her or something in this movie? I saw the trailer for it. The shift from a fun game to overwhelming tension paired and then with she the goes crazy reveal, and start killing people. killer made for the screen. Or Number something. eight, the white satin evening gown. This story ties in nicely with the I previous entry. Marry. Within the context of a film, Listen. it could easily be weaved together with the bride to make for a tale of horror that just keeps on giving. In this story, a young woman rents an expensive gown that she could never afford. At the fancy ball she's been invited to, she turns every head in the room. Who is she? Do you know her? No, sire. As the night grows late, however, she becomes faint and has no choice but to go home. I feel dizzy. I feel sunny. She wasn't just dizzy from the dancing, though. The dress what was. What the fuck is that on her face? That looks disgusting. And as she danced the night away, the embalming fluid slowly poisoned her. Apparently, Ew. it truly was a dress, and even. Is she still running like that? Number seven, cold as clay. Alvin Schwartz is a master of short yet highly effective horror stories. Even by his own high standards, however, cold as clay is notably chilling. When the young daughter of a farmer falls was that in love with her dad's employees, she's sent away. The farmer feels that I his daughter that deserves Miles better Cyrus. than to wind up with a stable boy. I told you how I felt. I feel the same way. No, you don't. The farmhand is heartbroken and eventually dies, but the father never well, tells his daughter of his death. As such, she thinks nothing of it when he shows up at her door on horseback, despite him being cold as clay. A haunting tale of undying love. It could work as a flashback or get a modern spin. I don't want no love Either like way, this. It is sure to make mm -hmm. an impact. Number six, the drum. In this story from the second oh, she's compilation, a cute little girl. two young kids come across a girl with a drum. Like some twisted version of Santa Claus, she promises to give it to them, but only if they're bad. But the kids behave so badly that their mother threatens to leave them, and that an old crone with glass eyes and a tail Ew. will replace her. A classic moral lesson, the drum ends with the girls losing on both fronts. It's a story that could easily be updated for a more modern setting, and we think that Guillermo del Toro would have a lot of fun bringing the sinister replacement mother to life with his trademark practical effects. Number 5. Just Delicious As we saw in the Why 2019 like a, movie, a the works the of scenes. Alvin Schwartz often involve food in disgusting Why the hell he look like Evan Peters? I'm eating the stew. The stew in the fridge? 
in Just Delicious, the wife of a cruel man winds up feeding him the liver of someone who recently died. When she attempts to sleep, however, she's haunted by the neighbor who calls out for her liver. Ah, I played Sound the familiar? game before. Overwhelmed with guilt, she confesses to her husband, but he's superstitious and quickly becomes fearful for his own life. Who has my liver? Suffice it to say, <laughs> why you sound like Roshi? A replacement <laughs> liver. Ah, ah. This story actually works as a nice follow-up to the big toe segment of the film, and could Ugh. theoretically even be reworked to involve the same corpse. I thought for a minute I'd have to fix my own dinner. Number four, the wreck. Imagine this, you meet someone nice at a school dance. The two of you quickly form a connection. It's Christmas, so who knows, you may even encounter some mistletoe. Out of all my brother's friends, you're my favorite. You give your new friend a lift home, only to discover they died on their way to the dance. Adding to the creepiness factor, the piece of tinsel that you gave them earlier is Jesus. already in the hair of their corpse. Wake up! Wake up. Freaky. Given that the film involves high school age students, this feels like a real no-brainer and a perfect fit for the world that the film what crafted the hell for these stories to inhabit. Eh? Part of a long history of hitchhiking ghosts in folklore, The Wreck is a classic. Number three, may I carry your basket? In the context of this spooky children's book, that title alone is enough to give you the creeps. This is not a tale about a helpful young boy helping a woman with groceries. Well, actually, that's exactly how it starts, but it takes a dark turn when the recipient of his help turns out to be a headless corpse. I'm oh, pretty sure dear. that from there, you can guess the contents of the titular basket. For his trouble, our good Samaritan winds up getting chased by both head I and I remember Sleepy body. Hollow. I ain't seen this it in a long time. This is all though. about the tension of the chase, which we think lends itself perfectly to a visual uh, uh, the film. Maybe it can be the first return of the jangly man. Number two, High Beams. Like with so many of his stories, Alvin Schwartz took inspiration for High Beams from an existing urban legend. Someone's in the back seat! That's Chucky. It's a twist on the killer in the back seat trope. That's, that was which, Chucky, y'all. Which, let's be honest, well, is a must-have in any self-respecting horror franchise. As a woman drives down the road at night, a car behind her keeps flashing its high beams, causing oh, her dear. to fear for her life. She believes she's being followed by a lunatic. Little does she know, the threat is actually in her very own back seat. And oh, the car behind no. her is just trying to protect her by blinding the knife wielding killer. That's a twist. Girl. This would make for a great, not to mention tense, on screen sequence, complete with a great reveal. It's him. For me, the one story I've never gotten over from this series is The Red Ribbon, about the woman who always wore a ribbon around her neck and yada yada yada. Spoiler, it was actually holding her head on. Also, the one about the spider laying eggs in someone's face or something. Okay, maybe these scarred me more than I realized. Please don't show that. Anyway, guess what? There's one we'd like to see on film more than all the rest, and it's at the top of this list, so let's look through some spooky honorable mentions, and then we'll tell you that dark tale. The Wendigo. So like unto a donna, wonderful sausage. Where is that one gonna go? <laughs> the thing. One of the men stood up. Take it easy, Jim, he said to the man in the middle. And then he got off. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and Was ring that a the poem? bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option I to be am. notified for occasional videos I or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure gauntlet, you go into your somebody, settings somebody and switch on notifications. Well, I can buy that. I've been looking for it. Number one, room for one more. Late at night on a business trip, a man hears a car pull into the driveway. Outside, he's greeted by a long black hearse full of people. As if that's not creepy. Sorry about that, y'all had a phone call enough, the driver, a sinister looking fellow with hideous features, tells him that there is room for one more before driving off. Do something! My boss! This isn't supposed to be happening! The next day, our protagonist is told the same thing I would thing not want to go out like that, elevator going down people. like that in the elevator. And sure enough, mm -hmm. plummet to their doom. Though it's a simple tale, because it taps into our timeless fear of unexpected death, it really stays with you. On screen, the hearse would make for a striking visual, while the premonition of impending death could be woven throughout the entire plot of the film. Do you agree? Well, I don't necessarily know what stories to tell in the dark. I mean, that's that's a hard job to do. You having to come up to tell like one scary ass story where people don't want to go to sleep, where people are creeped out, they got all the lights on and shit, you know, stuff like that. 
but a story I think they can continue. For me, one of them would be uh, Dead Silence. Um, that was by James Wan, I believe. So I really enjoyed it, even though it scared the hell out of me back when I first saw it as a kid. But, um, you know, as I've gotten older, you know, I could watch it. And, you know, it's, it's very interesting still to this day. I mean, we all know, like, the main characters or whatever. You know, Jamie, he got, he, he died in the last of the film. Hold on. But that doesn't mean that they couldn't necessarily, you know, make new characters. Like, say, for instance, it transferred on. She went on to kill another family or something like that, you know. But I don't know if it's too late to be asking that now. But, you know, hey, they remaking everything else. They literally turning all these Disney movies into live action films. So, I mean, hey work it out but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button comment below some other videos you want me to check out for you all so we can watch them together hit that subscribe button follow me on my instagram and hit that notification bell so you guys can only have a video up and loaded okay and uh, i'll see you guys in a minute thank you all for watching stay the rain i'm out